The episode starts with Ippo being knocked to the ground by Miata. The count starts and Ippo is able to stand up. This impresses the coach just a little. Takamura reminds Ippo to keep his guard up no matter what, to be a turtle. Miata starts to bounce and then push Ippo. Ippo keeps his guard up until he's hit in the stomach again and Ippo drops his guard once again. Ippo then is followed by another punch to the face like deja vu. It looks as if Ippo will be not, not be able to get back up again until Takamura yells at Ippo, asking him where that confidence and determination went. Somehow Ippo is able to stand up again, only for Miyato to repeatedly hit Ippo in the stomach. Ippo refuses to let his guard down, resulting in repeated hits to the stomach. One of the gym members mentioned why Miyata's punches are not dropping Ippo, who's an amateur. Another makes the remark that maybe Miyata's punches aren't all that strong. Miyata hears this and becomes angry when he charges up a right punch hard to Ippo's stomach, which nearly makes him fall to the ground, resulting in the loss. But Ippo perseveres and is able to run away. Miyata cuts off Ippo and is about to deliver a strong right punch to Ippo's face when the bell for the first round rings, saving Ippo from the punch. Ippo explains to Takamura that, his pain, that this pain is different from the pain and self-doubt from when he is bullied. Takamura tells Ippo that he will go on the offense of this round by using his newly learned jab. The round starts and Ippo takes a fighting position. Ippo slowly walks in to Miata and Miata decides to humor Ippo and step in. Ippo then delivers a jab and shocks everyone in the gym and almost hits Miata. He goes for the right punch when he wildly throws a miss and almost falls to the ground. Takamura yells at Ippo that he needs to throw the right straight punch that he first learned when he first used it to hit the sandbag at the gym. Ippo then continues to push forward, throwing repeated jabs until it throws Miata off and Ippo delivers a, a straight right. The straight right hits Miata's guard and opens up Miata for another hit. Ippo then goes to throw another straight right punch, but Miata is barely able to dodge and is about to deliver a devastating counter punch when the bell saves Ippo again. Takamura then tells Ippo to put everything together that he's learned thus far in this next round. The round starts and Ippo starts to use a one-two combo. Miata is able to dodge every throw, dip in and hit a couple jabs, then dodge incoming punches and clip Ippo on the chin. Ippo falls down due to his legs not responding. Ippo starts to hit his legs and is able to stand up once again, shocking everyone that is watching. Miata then goes in after dodging punches from Ippo, hitting Ippo and dropping him once again. Ippo once again stands up, leaving Miata speechless. Ippo continues to be punched in the face over and over again, but Ippo refuses to fall down. Ippo continues to push forward, throwing a one-two combo, but not landing and repeatedly getting hit in the face. Ippo then goes for a strong straight right punch, but Miata uses a counter punch to Ippo's face, finally knocking Ippo to the ground for the third time. And finally, Ippo is out cold. The coach goes back to his office with the manager talking about the past great boxers who were gutsy, who would get back up each and every time, motiv motivating them more and more. Takamura barges in when the coach tells Takamura that he sure brought in a mess of a fighter, but to bring him in every day from now on and he will make a boxer out of Ippo. Miata is resting in the bathroom. He goes to wash his hands and arms that are bruised up from blocking Ippo's heavy, powerful punches. Miata looks in the mirror and tells himself that boxing has just become extremely interesting. The guys at the gym wake up Ippo and he is sad that he lost without getting in one single punch but all the guys welcome him with warm arms and tell him he did a good job. Two people at the gym introduce themselves like Kiyomura and Aoki. Ippo then finds out that he passed and that he's a full-time member. Ippo's so happy that he starts to cry. Ippo then returns home to, to sleep it off with his face all battered, but his mom shuts the door proud and the episode ends.